looking at them, listening to their stories of what they want to be or pushing them to be what they can be inspires me. My name is Linda Clyatt Wayman, and this is actually the first school that I was a principal of. Actually, when I walked through the doors of the school for the first time, I did not go in to be principal. I actually went in to be a teacher coach, a new teacher coach, actually. And I was assigned to this one building. And I remember crying profusely because I did not want to come here because I did not want to be in one building. I wanted to work with new teachers all over the city. Was I scared? Yes. Did I want to give up? Briefly, but then I realized nobody else is coming, Linda. You know most of these kids live in poverty. You understand that half of them don't eat at night. And every time they would go on and on about all these problems, I always use my favorite saying that I learned, I started at the time, so what now what? The reason why kids are so lost and in such pain is because they connect to no one. No one, nobody. And in their mind, they believe there's nobody that care about them or their situation. We all do, we all got a story. We all have a story. And kids, believe it or not guys, they want to hear our stories. In the kid's mind, the only thing that's happening only happened to them. It ain't happened to nobody else. All is just happening to me, it didn't happen to nobody for me. So we gotta clear that up in their mind. Yes, it has, baby. Let me tell you what I did to navigate through that. Why? You was really poor, Miss Wayman. Why? You really didn't have much to eat either. What? Man, what? They want to hear them stories because it pushes them forward. Okay, well, Miss Wayman, I, I guess I can do that. That's why mentoring is important. Vision is first. Getting everybody to believe that it is possible. The next part about running a turnaround school is having courage because people are going to do things that you would never believe in your lifetime. If you don't see yourself as a true leader and able to handle all of the responsibility to come with a leader, then you can't take this on. And that's come from my other saying, if you're gonna lead, lead. And if you're not going to lead, you have to get out of the way. Just get out of the way. Because if you don't, you're, you're impeding everybody's possibility. Every human person need a mentor, no matter who they are. They need somebody to connect to if they're gonna go on and be their best self. So in life, my first mentor, of course, is my mother. She guided everything that I did. She was positive, she was uplifting. She always believed we could escape poverty. She always believed college was the answer. She just didn't know how she was going to get us there. And she was innovative. But if anybody is my mentor today, they are the high school students that I served yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Their voice is the voice that inspires me for action. I go and, and serve and give and change and speak and use my voice based on what they tell me. Well, my kids would come to me and tell me stories, guys, I couldn't even tell you on camera that is so painful. I would have to dig deep inside and still say, so what now, what do we do? That already happened. All of those awful things already happened to you. I can't change that. But we're not gonna let that situation take your whole life. What we're gonna do is use that situation to fuel you for the next part of your life. They said, okay, I tell you what, it'll put your kids in the spotlight. Then she had me. I said, you can put my kids in the spotlight? I can talk about my kids? She said, yeah. I said, okay, I'll do it. It has been unbelievable. The response that I have gotten from all over the world 
from people to say to me, oh, Miss Wayman, I never forget this one story from a kid, I think he was in China. He said, oh my God, I went to a state-of-the-art school. We had Olympic-sized pools, we had a state-of-art gym, and I didn't know what was missing until your TED Talk. Love, Miss Wayman. That's what was missing the whole time. Then it was from India and Africa and Costa Rica, Switzerland, all over the world with a universal message of you got to take care of these children. That's really pretty much all it was. And on top of that, the biggest thing was to always tell them you love them. Always tell them every day, no matter what they were doing, in the midst of the craziness, in the midst of the fighting, okay, you have a problem, but I still love you. But I still love you, but I still love you. And this is something that I took to all the schools I've ever became principal of. I ended always with, I love you every day. And that brings me to my third and final slogan. If nobody told you they loved you today, you remember I do, and I always will.